Hey guys, long time no see, it's me, Mujin Lord. I know it's been a while since I posted a tutorial. You know, I'm home now from, from college. It's a summer break for me. So I've been outside trying to catch up on a few things and enjoy life in the outside world. Well, today is a special tutorial. Not really that special, but most of your veteran uh, Mujin lovers in the Mujin community might already know how to do this. But it's more so for the newcomers and the people who, you know, want to get more out of their Mujin game. Well, a lot of people is wondering, you know, is there a way to use a controller to play Mujin instead of using the keyboard? Yeah, after a while, I get tired of using the keyboard for Mujin because my fingers get all cramped up and stuff. So today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install, for most of you guys who own the Xbox 360, how to install an Xbox 360 wireless controller. And also, if you guys own a PC controller, it will also show you how to install a PC controller. Not really much to it. It's not hard. So, come on. Let's get with this. Well, first of all, this is my desktop. I know. It's very junky. It has a lot of mess on here and stuff. But anyway, besides that, before we get started on how to use the Xbox 360 wired controller or the PC controller, first of all, you must buy a PC controller first. And the PC controller comes with... Um, and install this to install in the computer. When you install in the computer, the computer recognizes the hardware you had installed, which is your controller or the PC. Now, for Xbox 360 controllers, you must download the software from the Microsoft website. So, let's start. Let's get on the internet. Yes, YouTube is my own page. Well, anyway, we're going to go to a website called www.microsoft.com slash hardware slash gaming slash download dot mspx I repeat www.microsoft.com slash hardware slash gaming slash download dot mspx now let's go now we're on the website or say download gaming software very simple, very easy, very self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and there are four different options. And first, you got to go to option number one, where it says select type of product. And what we're going to select here is controllers. And then we go down to option number two, which is highlighted now since we already done step number one. So where it says select product, step number two, we're going to choose Xbox 360 controller for Windows. And now, you see a little picture right here of the Xbox 360 wireless controller. No, wired controller. My fault. Now we can go to option three, where it's the select operating system. Now, this is where it don't get tricky or anything, but you gotta know what type of computer you're using. Right here, most Windows XP already has Service Pack 1 or 2. So most of you guys go with Windows XP Service Pack 1 or higher. But if you guys are working on a Windows XP 64-bit, if you want to check what type of bit your computer is using, all you have to do is go to the Start menu and go to My Computer, right-click on My Computer, and go to Property. And where it has the, um, the, the hardware information, all you have to do is check to see what bit is using. But other than that, use Windows XP Service Pack 1 or higher. You click on it, then it says select your operating system language. This is step 4. This is real easy. If you're in the U.S., you know it's English. Other than that, if you're from another country, just use your specified uh, language. And hit go. I don't think I, I just wipe my logs. Now, the next step is basically simple. Just click on the file link, download the accessory software. Voila. That easy. And you click save or run. Okay. Next step, turn on your motion. Very simple. We're going to do this one with the option. Click on the option and then we can go to the input configuration. Now we go here, you got player one and player two. What we're going to do is we're going to say joystick type click it on auto well most of you guys who don't have a controller and just install one it's going to have disabled all you do is click it to the right and it'll have auto 
Once all those on, that means the control is enabled. And you go to control the configuration. And you just set the controls up. Just simple. Real simple. You hit config. You, and it asks you what you want, what part of the controller you want to have the up key. Just tap up, tap down, left, right. Wherever you want your A button, your B button to be, your C button on the controller and stuff like that. Basically that's simple. Then we're going to get a controller a test run. And the same thing with the PC controller. The, if you have a PC controller and the Xbox 360 controller installed, when you put it on auto, the computer automatically knows what software has been installed. So you can use either the, the PC controller or the Xbox 360 wire controller. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever controller that's input inside your computer. And we're going to exit out. We're going to test out the controls for this. And make sure you save too as you finish set the control. Thanks it out. And then after that, we turn it on and see what happens. Let's, let's try it out. There we go. Works perfectly. Go to arcade mode. And there you go. Let's try out try our little match. There you go. Got it working. And even with your PC controller, when you install it. Computer will recognize that your PC controller is installed. And all you do is set the controls for your controller, and you got it working. Very simple. Real simple. If you don't believe me, try it out for yourself. Well, that wraps things up for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I have couple more to do, a couple more to present to you guys on YouTube, so you guys look out for it, and I hope it benefited you guys, so see you guys later next time check out some new videos that I have posted up, and get back at me peace out